this is Salma and this is the second video. In the first video, we went over how to write a title and our name using the heading tag on codepen.io. So this is what the final result is and this is what our website will look like at the end of the third video. But for now, we're gonna go back to our project and we're going to write the paragraph. So we're going to code this part. So you should have a few sentences ready to write and to write your paragraph, you're going to use the paragraph tag. So bracket, P, close bracket. And then after that, whatever you write, it's going to become the text for your website. So take some time to write your paragraph. So that's what I wrote, and I want to highlight the first sentence. To do this, I'm going to use the bold tag. So that is going to be bracket, B, bracket, and that's going to bold our text, but that makes all of our text bold. So we have to close this bracket. I'm going to close it right here at the end of the first paragraph. I mean, the end of the first sentence, the sentence I want to highlight. Bracket, slash, E, bracket. So this is what I wrote, but I also want to take a sentence from the article I read. I wanted to include this sentence. So I'm going to copy it using control C and then paste it right here. And when you copy a sentence from another website or article, you need to quote it because it's not our own words and we need to give them credit. So I'm going to write source United Nations. And I don't want the source to be right with the paragraph, so I'm going to add a break tag. So the break tag is going to bring everything after the break tag down to the next line. So bracket, BR bracket. And you see over here, it just brought it down. Okay, so I'm going to bring down this so it looks a bit more neater. And I'm going to add a link, a hyperlink to this word so that whenever anyone clicks on it, they can go to the original article and read the whole article. So to add a link, you have to do bracket A 
but we're not going to close the bracket this time. Instead, we're going to write href equal quote, and inside the quote, we're going to add in the link. So you're going to take the link, the URL from the search bar, copy, and paste it in between the quote. So take some time to do that. And that's when we're going to close the A because this, close, this A, we didn't close A yet. So we're going to use the close bracket. So after that, the program will know to link this link to this word. And after that, we're going to close, use our end tag. So it's going to be bracket slash a bracket. 